Hi there, Team Ozone. We are back with Pokemon Storm Silver, episode 35. This is the Friday episode, which means in the download, uh, not in the download bar, in the uh, description down below, in the download, uh, friggin', in the description, you should find a link that says download save or something along those lines, so you can download my save file, so if you are playing alongside me and anything bad has happened, or, you know, you want to play exactly as I do every week, or just go into my file and mess around and see things that I might have missed, you're totally free to do that. Speaking of which, somebody did tell me something, and I totally forgot it till now. So we got to go all the way over to Olivine City and show them Tengu. For some reason, Tengu, apparently, something is special about Tengu. And I get a Pikachu that can do stuff that's really cool. I'm not going to be using that Pikachu unless it is modest. Like, frigging modest. And has a light ball on it. Then I'll use it, because then it's going to be a little better than Dre. Actually, no, not even... No, because Dre actually has higher special attack and defense, so that's kind of that's kind of a thing. All right, so now we're gonna move Tengu up in front, and we're gonna put Charizard Burst Flare in the no no in the in the yeah that. Alrighty, that's awesome. And let's just see here. I think we can. I don't know. I don't see the point of showing them Tengu. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. But whatever. There's a girl here, she's gonna give me a Pikachu, and that's a thing. Hello, little girl. I wanna talk to you from here so I can see your face clearly. Oh, hello. A Pikachu washed up on shore. It seems like, seems it was surfing, but collapsed. It could do with a kind trainer to take care of it. Oh, are you a trainer? The Pokemon leading your party, it's very happy, isn't it? Perhaps, would you be able to take care of, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My happiest Pokemon is Tengu, who I was thinking of replacing? That is so sad! Oh my gosh, I'm a, terrible, I'm a terrible person. So sorry, Tengu. Uh, okay, she's at the Battle Frontier. A battle? No, she's out of my league. Ah, ballsy McFacington. Let's see the Pikachu that's not modest. I almost thought I saw two Pikachus there. Quiet nature, which means its special attack actually goes up and its speed goes to crap. It's not holding any item and it has surf and fly. Ah, wow, this is actually... That would be super helpful just to have Surf and Fly on one Pokemon. But to be honest, it works out on my team anyways, so it doesn't really need to stay. So, not going to be using Tengu nor Pikachu after this. I am really sorry. Let's see what Tengu has to say about this. Yeah, he's happy. He's relaxing. He's happy. He cool. He got this. He don't care that much. We had our good times. We were bros. It's just that his stats don't match up with the rest of the team. Maybe there's somebody in here I could use who's got, like, awesome stats. That'd be my box one, box one though. Hey, it's a Mudkip. No, but I can't use Mudkip. I already have that type of Pokemon. Ghastly, Jolly Nature, Holy Schnitzel. What in the... What have I been not using Pompey? Rin, Brave Nature. Not happening. I already got a dragon. Ah, oh, but a Levitating Ghost Pokemon Poison thing. Yeah, Burst Star. Not happening. No. Nah, modest onyx. Oh my gosh, you could learn. Oh wait, there's no special rock type attacks except for power gem, and it doesn't get that either way. Um, let's see here. Weasel, no. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Ah, tempting. Guy is very tempting just because Burst Flare kind of sucks sometimes, but that's just the thing. Um, that's just hilarious. Burrika, Burrika. Um, mild, jolly, not even, no, never. It has to replace Tengu, so it's gonna have to be like grass or something like that. Uh, or poison, because poison's the opposite. But then I'd have a weakness to ghost on two Pokemon, and I'd be weak to psychic. I think I would be psychic, weak, uh, but then... I would be immune to ground more than I am now. Oh, but then I, I would be able to take out other ghosts. It would pretty much do what Tengu does, but instead of, like, sucking... No offense, Tengu. We had good times. It would just do it better. So, you know what? Yeah. Why did I do that? Why did I put... Why did I... Ooh, it's an adamant goldine. That'd be for an awesome fucky ass e king But anyways... Um, yeah, that's that. I'm gonna, like, do this. I would totally use the Riolu, but I don't really know its nature, so that kind of sucks. Plus, let me think. 
it doesn't entirely replace shift uh, Tengu because Tengu's purpose was to take out Pokemon that are water types, which Jolteon kind of gets rid of, or anything that's, you know, weak to dark. And that's kind of done pretty well by, um, where's the Ghastly that I just captured? Not captured just, but like already had for a while. Especially since it's got me look. Oh my gosh, that's gonna come in so handy. I'm totally using it. Okay, new teammate. New teammate is awesome. New teammate. Yeah. And now we're gonna fly on over to Mahogany and get all this whole redhead business with cape. Redhead with a cape. I saw a redhead. He had a cape. Hmm, wonder who that is. Alrighty, time to fly on over to the place over there. Mahogany. Mahogany! Mahogany. That was a reference to uh, Team Four Stars Dragon Ball Z Abridged. If you do not watch it and you already like Dragon Ball Z, but you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z Abridged, I recommend you go to their channel and check it out. Episode 1, hilarious. Episode 2, hilarious. Episode 3, it goes downhill from there, but it's still kind of good. Pretty good. Pretty funny. So now we're going to the Lake of Rage to do some stuff. I don't know why. I just lost my beat right there. Meh. Of course I'm going to take the other way. I'm cheap. It is a giraffe for it. We still have not captured one. I probably should try and capture. Wait a minute. Why am I? Oh, crap. Oh, righty. Now I just remembered why I bought those max repels. To use them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Silly Rayquaza. Let's teach Flamethrower to somebody because obviously it can't teach it to uh, burst uh, burst flare because well, I could, but. Ah, yeah, I'll teach it to somebody when it gets to the time to teach it to somebody. Shadow Ball, I definitely have to teach that to the awesome little awesomeness known as Nell. Wait, no, no, wait, that's not right. Yeah, Nell, because we don't need teleport anymore since we can fly. So that'd just be really awesome to help out Nell, especially since Ghastly learns it naturally. Yay, more type coverage for our awesome team of Pokemon. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm not the count. I can't count. All right, and what else? Giga Dra I can't teach that to anybody. Can I teach it to somebody? Anybody? 75 power. Ooh, that's the new gen. Oh, that's awesome. <gasps> so awesome! Giga Drain on this dude is awesome. Let's uh, forget Curse. Because, yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Forget curse. I don't need curse. Curse is our cur cursing is for losers. God damn it! All right, so forget curse. Uh, flames are no shock. What? No, no. Wait, no. Wait. Roost. Ooh, that's a good one. But no. Will o wisp. That's another one. Ah, it's so many good ones. Um, I'll actually look through all this when I really need to. I mean, I'm I'm doing rather all right. All right, but first things first, we're going to switch out Daiga from front to back and put Jaws up in front because Jaws needs the most experience. And wait a minute. But then how am I going to trade in Pompe? Pompe. Pompe. I really named him Pompe. Really? Oh, whatever. Let's just go. Onward to victory. And sh Holy crap, it's a Venomoth. I totally want to capture it because it has tinted lens and it could be like an awesome Pokemon. So, we're gonna try and capture it. I'll skip to the part where I either capture or kill it. One of the two, because we don't have a lot of time today. Alrighty, by some miracle, we managed to capture Venomoth, which is actually a bug psychic type instead of being a bug poison type in the original game. Anyways, poison moth Pokemon, which it's not poison, it should say psychic moth Pokemon now. But, anyways, 4 foot 11, 27.6 pounds. The powder on its wings is poisonous if it is dark in hue. If it is light in hue, it causes paralysis. Okay, wow, that's just... Uh, okay, so if it's dark, you get poisoned. If it's dark light, you get screwed over anyways. Wow, that's not good. That's that's not good in the slightest. That's very bad. Bad, son, that's bad. All right, now let's just go on over to the items because we need to heal a little bit. My team is not doing so well. By that, I meant we're getting our asses kicked because that's, that's how Team Ray rolls. I'm giving the choice pen to you guys know who, because really, it would really, really help. I don't even know what his item already is. Quick Claw, forget that. You never go first in the first place. Uh, Quick Claw, I'll give that to somebody else. Anyways, now something. Evero, you are one unlucky son of a bitch. Alrighty, Bugsy's calling me. I know what that means. Get the bug repellent. No, no, no. Uh, Where's my max? Oh my gosh, I haven't used this thing. I was... uh. Supposed to use it on Burst Flare, because I figured he was really slow. It's odd. 
Uh, where are my max repels? Max repels, max repels, max repels, max repels, max repels, max repels, max repels. Ah! Ha 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 ha. Max repels. There we go. Alrighty, onward to victory, as I was saying before. I was rudely interrupted before uh, by everything. Lake of Rage. Why is it raining? Why is it supposed to rain? Fishing Guru's house. Hey, Guru! Now! Is he here? The Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by a rampaging Gyarados. A crater filled with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on by my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch the lively Magikarps there, but I don't understand what's happening. What, what's happening? It's raining. So, is that? Dad, what's up? What's up, pal? You, tell me what's up. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage, but I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Uh... Huh. Let's talk to this old geezer over here. The Gyarados is really angry. It's a bad omen. Holy crap, it's a red Gyarados. Well... I kind of knew this would happen. I mean, what with all the nuclear stuff they dump into the water these days, you'd think it would happen sooner, but hey, whatever. I heard the lake was made by a rampage in Gyarados. I wonder if there's a connection to the mass outbreak now. Mass outbreak? This Gyarados is everywhere? Okay, let's just... Oh my gosh! There's a... That's not supposed to be flooding, is it? That's not That's not good at all, is it? That's bad. That That's like super bad. Let's get out there and kick some ass, Jaws. Do, 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 do. Where's the Gyarados? Where's the Gyarados? There's the Gyarados. Hey there, Gyarados. Wait, can I battle it? Oh, God! I, I actually didn't think I would just talk to it and that would work out. Oh, hey, it's level 40. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually try and capture it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, guys. Alrighty, uh, level 40 Pokemon, Red and Gyaradosi. Very, very bad, apparently. Uh, Choice Banded, so I'm gonna go for Ice Fang, then I'm gonna switch out, because obviously this thing's got- Oh, Twister. Dragon-type attack, 40% power- or 40 power. Not that big of a deal. Ice Fang! Kinda like the same thing. Probably not that big of a deal. Yeah. Okay, that's not good, that's not good at all. Water-type attacks should be boosted in this, uh, condition, so if I go for Surf, that's probably good, but no. It'll, it'll do half damage, so, you know, let's just switch out to Dre- Ah, but no, that'll kinda finish it off, won't it? I'm not sure. Let's go to Dre anyways. And not gonna kill me, not gonna kill me, not gonna kill me, not gonna kill me. Ah, Ice Fang. What? I already used Ice Fang on you. So it's like Ice Fang versus Ice Fang. I'm not gonna get frozen, am I? Oh, thank God. You know, that kind of doesn't make sense, though. It's raining, so you'd think I would get ice, I mean, per I mean, frozen, because coated in rain, hit by ice, you'd think I would freeze. But hey, whatever, that's nice. Thunderbolt, finish him off. Oh my gosh, that actually finished him off. Ugh, sorry about that, Gyarados. That, that's kind of, um, that, that's totally my bad. It was not supposed to happen like that. Ray obtained the red scale. Ray put the red scale in the key items. Bam. That's how you do it, old man. And we know the Gyarados ain't angry anymore. It's probably unconscious. Let's get out of here. Okay, the rain didn't stop. Why did it stop? Yeah, it stopped. Let's talk to Mr. Redhead. The red Gyarados wasn't acting right. As I feared, somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're Ray? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard something rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw that you I saw you battling earlier. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Yeah, sure, what's up? Excellent. It seems that the Lake of Rage's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcasting from Mahogany is probably the cause. And the suspicious souvenir shop. What? I, I didn't suspect any of this. I mean, whoa, dude, he just flew. I'm gonna fly. I'll show him who's boss when I'm flying. Pfft, I can fly. I can fly better than flying. I, I invented fly. I'm Rayquaza. Flying is my thing. Flying better than me. I'm cooler. Let's go, Charizard. Okay, maybe not as cool as Lance, but still. You know, it's probably a smart idea to heal up at the Pokemon Center before we uh, go on ahead with anything. And we should probably save, too, because it's been 17 minutes, and I'm pretty sure I accomplished something besides beating a Gyarados to death. Which, uh, uh, to, in my defense, I was trying to capture it. I'm not sure how what that says about me as a trainer. I thought Lake of Rage would take so much longer than this. That was rather easy to fix, resolve. That was a really quick fix. Quick fix. Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, TF2 item. Now let's go inside this uh, suspicious looking place. 
Dragonite, use Hyper Beam. What the hell? That wasn't a Hyper Beam. He tackled him into a wall. What took you so long, Ray? Just as I thought, this strange radio signal is coming from here. How do you know? How, how do you tell? Wow, he threw a guy aside into a wall. The stairs are right here. Lance, why are you so psychic? And also, your Dragonite. So awesome, but my Garchomp would beat its ass. You know what? Just to prove it, I'm gonna put my Garchomp right up in here. Why does it have the experience here? Shouldn't Pompey have the experience here? Yeah, that seems to be very suspicious as to why Pompey does not have the experience here. You know what? Forget it. Daiga, you and me, we're gonna kick some ass. Let's go right now. Let's go kick some butt. What happened? Oh, it's a Persian? Okay, that's new. So, if I walk in front of a Persian, a trainer attacks me. I can take advantage of this. Do, 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 do. First Pokemon is coughing at level 37 into a poison type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is the fighting type Pokemon Primeape at level 38. Final Pokemon on the opponent's side is Golbat at level 38 poison. Fl and that grunt. Oh god damn it, that's another one. First Pokemon is Raticate, the normal type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is Muck, the pure poison type Pokemon. Alright, maybe that's the last grunt, but apparently there's a lot more grunts on the way then. Yeah. A lot more grunts on the way, but let's just flip through here, and okay. Lots and lots of grunts, but I'm going to be battling all of them just because I need the experience. But first off, let's heal my team. It took a huge-ass beating right there. Hmm, I wonder what... Uh, never mind. I think I'll put training Daiga on hold for a little bit, just because it's kind of like training a horse to go to war not not the smartest ideas but okay a mod a, okay better example training a goat to sword fight somebody not gonna achieve as much success as you would if you were training a human to sword fight somebody now although the goat would be pretty fucking awesome if it was like you know slashing and hacking and its name was horo and it did things but yeah daiga's cool but i'm actually gonna train pom 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 Pompey, Pompey, Pompey for a little bit because uh, Pompey could probably use the experience. So let's put Jaws up in front with his choice pin. I have no idea how Jaws is back there. Seriously. And let's give Pompey the experience share, which is right over. Where the heck is the experience share? I honestly. Oh, there it is. Got the experience shell. Oh, yes. This will be a good one. Alrighty, bring it on, Grunt. I am ready for you. Uh, any any day now. Uh, t take your time. I have all day. Intruder, intruder. Yeah, battle, yes. First Pokemon is Coughing, level 37. The Poison type Pokemon with Levitate. Second Pokemon is Primate, the Fighting type Pokemon. Final Pokemon is Golbat, the Poison Flying type Pokemon at level 38. Alrighty, with that out of the way, there should be eight more Grunts along the way. Damn it, I was right. Right. That's what I meant. First Pokemon is Raticat. I mean, Raticate, not Raticat. Raticate. Final Pokemon is the Poison type Pokemon, Muck, at level 39. Huh, now that I think about it, if each Rocket Grunt, every time I pass through, they get, took like a thousand from me, and these guys are giving me a thousand point five, that's pretty cool. And let's go, let's go. Why is Nell behind me? That doesn't make sense. Nell, why are you behind me? Yeah, I don't know that either. Nell's hearing a strange sound. What happened to the front of my party? Alrighty, oh, fainted. Well, that, that kind of sucks. Let's actually give Nell an item, because it would be very helpful to have an item in battle. Um, let's see, do I have any good items to give? I don't actually seem to have any good items to give. I got the King's Rock, I guess. You know what, we're going to give Nell the Quick Claw, because that apparently would help. Dre needs some healing, and Pompey has gotten two level ups, I believe. So, let's heal really quickly. I mean, save. Save. Gosh darn it, really. Saving, saving the game. And the creepy rocket music in the background. Alrighty, now that we've saved, it's time to heal our Pokemans. And by heal our Pokemans, I mean seriously heal our Pokemans because they're injured. Cause that's not cool. I'm not going to be reviving anybody though. I want to see how long I can go without reviving anybody. Plus, Jaws is doing alright. No, 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 no. You have to... Jaws has to be used because he needs the experience. I can't let anybody fall behind. I've already seen how bad that gets. 
Especially, well, unless they got like good stats like Daiga. Daiga's got great stats, uh, spectacular stats. So it's not that big of a deal on Daiga, but other Pokemon, yeah. All right, there's another one of these. So let's just go and into it. Two grunts coming my way in any second now. Any second now. I think it really does take them too long to get uh, the alerts. And this amount of time, I could have moved up like eight steps. Anyways, hey, intruder alert. First Pokemon is the poison type Pokemon, coughing. Second Pokemon is Primate, the fighting type Pokemon. Final Pokemon is Golbat, flying poison type, level 38. All right, I'm gonna stop saying their Pokemon because I'm pretty sure you guys get the like whole thing. It's Raticate, Primate, Golbat, coughing, and that's kind of it. They just repeat that over and over and over again, and maybe in a different order, but that's about the Rocket Grunt thing with Pokemon. All right, actually, on second thought, their Pokemon are Muck, Raticate, Primate, uh, coughing, gold bad. I think that's that's pretty much all the Pokemon these guys have. Anyways, let's just go. Oh, hey, an item. Free items are always cool. Free items make the world go round. Ah, oh, it's a nugget. So they're finally paying me back for all the shit they stole. What a good policy. Take my shit, give it back. Take my shit, give it back. These guys are so nice. Oh, yeah, I did send Pompey into battle for a little bit just to mess with one of the Weezings because I thought it was going to explode on me. It didn't. It actually just went for Sludge and it survived it. So yeah, that's something, I guess. So I'm pretty much just trying to evolve it. And there's a teleporty thingy. And one of these. So bring on the two grunts who will bring on about five minutes worth of something. I, I don't even know. It's going to be like five minutes of battle. Which can't be included because it's a waste of time. Oh my gosh, 42 minutes of- God damn it, there's another grunt! There's always another! Alright, I totally get that this is nice for training, but this is annoying! Right, Nell? Right, Nell? Nell is sniffing at the floor. Well, that's classy Nell for ya. Not going that way, we're going to search. Please, no more statues! Oh, thank God, Nancy, my Pokemon. Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Oh, thank God! Thank you! Thank you, Lance. You are awesome. Great, right, let's give it our best for a Pokemon. Yeah! What he said! He healed me! Alrighty, we're gonna kick some ass right around here. Radio transmitter. It seems the doors are locked by voice. Okay, so that means we have to beat this kid up because he's just standing there being something. First Pokemon is Weeping Bell, the poison grass type. Second Pokemon is Venomoth, the psychic bug type in this game, but usually it's a poison bug type, but hey, it's a game hack. Final Pokemon is Dustox, the bug poison type. Alrighty, he's evolving! How you, I, yeah, that's awesome! Now that pump, how do I evolve it? I know it's a trade evolution, so how do I evolve it? Huh, I think it's a level up. I think they changed all trade evolutions to level ups in game. I think they. I'm not sure. Question of the day, how do I evolve Haunter? Because I have no idea. Like, in the slightest, I have no idea at all. And also, I'm not going to learn Shadow Punch because it kind of sucks. And you're a special attacker. I mean, you're jolly natured. Your attack goes... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jolly. Special attack goes down. Force speed. Son of a bitch. Oh, I just spent so much XP on this dude for waste. Oh, my team has an empty spot. I am not using this guy. Ah, oh, so stupid. Damn it. All right, whatever. We are totally not going to let that bug us. Instead, we're going to go look through here and find the password thing. Hey, look at the grunt. Let's go beat him up and stuff. The door won't open. Well, duh. It only has a password that only Team Rocket the stuff. Stuff. Team Rocket. First Pokemon is Kingler, the pure water type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is Shellgun, the level 40 dragon type Pokemon, evolved from a Bagon. I mean, I'm totally in awe, in surprise that a Grunt would have a Shellgun. That's amazing. Tell me the password. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, fine. I gotta go find somebody who is not just a Grunt. Oh, hey, there's somebody with who's not just a Grunt. There's Lance. Hello, Lance, my pants, my bro. Ray, in order to unlock the door to the radio transfer, you need a voice of a certain person. The name of a person is Petrell, the Team Rocket executive. I found what, er, I have found out he is hiding in the leader's office. Unfortunately, though, the room also is protected with password. 
with a password. Ray, we need the password to the leader's office first. Did that grunt just let him go by? Uh, that guy in the cape is incredibly tough and I had no choice but to tell him all the secrets for the hideout. Except for that, the leader's office is protected with two passwords. Ah, uh, you sneaky, sneaky son of a bitch. Alright, let's get this full heal over here and get on with it. I kind of want to get over all this stuff with the grunts really soon. Ooh, TM49 snatch. So if your opponent uses an attack that will boost a stat of theirs, you can steal it and be awesome. Eh? Eh? Awesome? No? Yeah, you're awesome. <gasps> oh no! I actually didn't see that guy over there. He's wearing white and he's sitting by a white table, so whatever. I don't care if Pokemon are hurt by experience. You're an ass! First and only Pokemon is Ditto, which is really odd. I, I don't really see what the threat here is. I, I guess we're gonna brick break it now. Alright, that battle was totally pointless. Let's just continue onward. Oh hey, it's a grunt! That, that totally makes me feel better. Somebody worthwhile. Yuck, yeah, yuck, yeah. You're challenging me to a battle. Ha, <laughs> you're nasty, but you got guts. I like that. If you beat me, I'll tell you a faster to the boss's room. I bet 30 bucks he's not gonna do it. First Pokemon is Raticate, level 42. Second Pokemon is B-Barrel, the B-Barrel, the water normal type Pokemon. Raticate Tail. Let me guess, the other one is Slowpoke Tail, but that's just a guess. And why is Nell all oh, right, 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 Jaws fainted again? You know what? If Nell wants to be in front so bad, that sucks for Nell, because I have other Pokemons who need Xperia. Oh god, they don't. 37, ha ha! He's close to a 38 anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, Nell, you get your wish, you're up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Nell seems to have gotten a bit of a zap. Uh, you got electrocuted? Ah, oh, I'm really sorry to hear about that, bro. I mean, sis, I mean... Woman? Woman seems about right. More zaps? Okay, Nell really doesn't like it here. That's weird, but okay. Oh, hey, there's metal plates on the ground. Let's talk to Nell again. Alright, yeah, Nell really hates it here, but hey, it's a grunt, and let's talk to him. Do I know the password? Maybe, but no weakling's going to get it. Well, if you do know it, yeah. If you don't, you suck. First Pokemon is Gloom, the grass poison type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is Cloyster, the ice water type. Now, tell me the password. The password of the boss's room is Slowpoke Kill, but it's useless unless you have both passwords. I have both passwords, madam, and now I'm going to battle this guy over here. I used to work for Silph Corp, but now I run the research in Team Rocket. A medicine child like you needs to be punished. Yeah! Hey, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, oh, crap, he's got four Pokemon. First Pokemon is coughing. Second Pokemon is Porygon 2, the evolved form of Porygon, in case you guys didn't figure that out, guys. Because, you know, it's two, and the first one is, well, okay, I'll be quiet now. Second and last Pokemon is Electrode, the uh, electric type Pokemon. Final Pokemon on the opponent's side is Weezing, the fully evolved form of coughing. Poison type, by the way, in case you go down and tell. Alrighty, I'm sick of tired. I'm sick of tired. I just can't be serious. I'm sorry. No, but I'm sick and tired of playing with these rocket grunts. So let's go on upstairs and see what's there. Ah, oh, the Arnold's still inside of me. Ah, uh, this is a really long recording. Okay, there's a bunch of electrodes over there, so that's definitely not the control room. I've got both the passwords though, so. Okay, they are powering this place with Pokemon, which seems kind of cruel, but I guess, I don't know. Nell seems to want to, why? We're in a Team Rocket place. Of all the places to just play around goofing and stuff and whatever, let's just go battle this trainer over here. I mean, grunt, I mean, trash, I mean, scum. First and only Pokemon is Wobbuffet. This is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm fine. Hello? Okay, it's on. Totally did not fall out of my chair right there. I totally did. Hey, my controls work. That's awesome. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's how we like it. There is the control room. Let's go inside. No. All of my no. So you are messing with them again. Hmm. You must really like Team Rocket so much. Tell me, who was the guy in the cave who used Dragon type Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting much stronger. It's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost a bleeding heart like him. Hmm. I don't have time for the likes of you. Hey, 
dude, what, what's with the shoving and the pushing? Wait, does that even go anywhere? The stairs are over here. Where did he go? Oh, there's two stairs. Wow, that's clever. Hey, look, an item. Ray found an ultra ball. Yay. Let's see. Doors closed. Ray entered the two passwords. The passwords opened the doors. Whoa, is that Geo... No, it's not. Well, ha, 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 we've been waiting for you. So you are Ray, me? You don't know who I am? It's me, Giovanni. No, there's a no, there's a chat out in the corner, so that can't be Giovanni. Well, ha, ha, ha. Huh? I don't sound anything like Giovanni. I don't even look like Giovanni. How come? I've worked so hard on to mimic him. Ah, pretzel, my arch neminit, 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 numa, 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 my arch numa, numa. Ha, ha. It is time for us to battle once again. The password is Hail Giovanni. Surprised to hear from me? Knowing the password won't help you either. The door won't open unless the password is in my voice. There's a chat out right there, conveniently placed, so. Alrighty, so verse Petrel, because he sucks, and my team is injured. Go, Diga, take out that thing. Oh god, my team is really injured. That That's not cool. Alright, so I think this would be the situation in which I go for my Dragon Rage, and it dug underground, son of a bitch. Alright, that's not cool because it's underground and that means I can't hit it until it hits me the next turn, which won't be good. So I'm gonna actually go up into the air with Burst Flare. Haha, uh -huh, I made a rhyme. I can do all the- I can do the rhyming and stuff. It does not affect me. Okay, now let's go for Belly Drum. And yeah, 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 you go for your protect, you go for that. I got my Belly Drum off, now I can pretty much sweep your entire team. The only problem is I have to hit your team to sweep it, so let's see if you'll be so kind as to let me to beat your ass, good sir. Fire Fang, oh, there's one down. As long as I go first, I can pretty much KO anything he's got, because... What? What? My maximum attack, times six, did it? Holy crap, that thing is a bit overpowered if you ask me. And by a bit, I mean like a lot. I mean, that's cheap beyond reason. I'm going for my electrical attack on him because he's a ground type. Dark ground, by the way. Wait a minute, wait, wait, what? He's a ground, no, no, he's a poison type. He's a poison type, he's a dark poison type, not a ground type. See, that always like messed me up. Like the color of it, it looks like a mixture of poison and ground. So I would always not use electric against him. But anyways, he's out of the way. He's out of the picture, he's gone, hooray. And let's see here, uh, Eradicate is coming up next. I'm pretty darn sure I can kind of take it, maybe. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, really. Eradicate's not that big of a threat. No, the, my team's not that big of a good thing, either. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dre is definitely down. There's absolutely no chance in hell Dre's going to survive a double edge coming off Eradicate. That doesn't sound right. Eradicate. Coming off Eradicate. That doesn't sound right. What is wrong? Why does Eradicate sound intimidating? It sounds the exact opposite of it. And I'm pretty much just uh, foddering out because this guy is useless with his bad nature. God damn it. So we're going to go over to... Wait, the Eradicate's even faster than me. That's that's even worse. Oh, no. I think I'm about to get sweeped by Eradicate. Yeah, that does seem like a likely thing to happen. Goes for crying super effective. Of course he did. Of course he did. Son of a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna go over to Daiga, being it, he's my only full HP Pokemon who's even close to these bad dudes' range in level. So, let's go then. Dragon Claw! No, no, why does that always hit? No! No, just kill yourself off a of recoil, you ass. No, 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 rough skin, rough skin. Yeah, don't forget about the, don't forget about the rough skin. Ha, ha, ha. Alright, that's getting annoying, but thankfully I still have Fudge. I, I think I named a Pokemon Fudge once. Oh, I was supposed to I was supposed to use Intimidate first. I forgot all about that. Let's go for my last Hyper Potion, because my last Hyper Potion. I also gotta wonder if, if uh, Pretzel is here, then who's in the Master Control Room? Oh wait, this is the Master Control Room. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go shut down the Electrode Room. Ah, I, I see what... I see what I did there. 
And this thing is annoying beyond reason. I need to like kill it. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna heal Dre. And then Dre is gonna take care of the rest of his team because Dre is uh, Jesus reincarnated because actually no, I'm just hoping Dre can take him after the recoil kills him. Yeah, perfect recoil killed him. And now we go switch on over to Dre. Oh my gosh, this is definitely not good. Dre got a level up. Okay, okay. Dre can do this. Maybe. M maybe. There's like a 2% chance Dre can pull off a victory out of this. Weezing, poison type Pokemon. Not cool. We're gonna go for the revive and revive now because now would be my best bet against this poison type douche. I'm still surprised that Belly Dance it maximized my attack. So times six and I still could not take it out. That is very suspicious to me. Oh, come on. I had to get the poison. That just kills me. That's overkill. Ah, oh, so annoying. All right, gonna go over to Nell. And I think Nell's definitely faster, but I'm not sure if this thing knows explosion or not. If it knows explosion, I'm in trouble. Just gonna go for extra sensory and hope I get a critical hit or my enemy flinches. Come on, button mashing powers activate. Save me, do something good, 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 something Oh god! Please tell me I survived that. Please tell me I survived that. Oh no! All my progress up until this oh god, he took a lot of money. That that that's what mattered most. He took a lot of money, son of a bitch. Anyways, that about wraps it up for today. Ah. You guys know the question of the day. I totally forgot about... Oh, yeah. How do I evolve Gen... Oh, but Gengar can suck my balls. I don't want it because it's got a bad nature. Bobobo -bo -bo called me. Oh, hi, Ray. This is Warden Bobobo. -bo -bo. Sorry to keep you waiting. The next test is ready. I'll give you more details at the Safari Zone. See you later. I am never taking your test again, you suck. You suck. I'm gonna look at my pee... No, no. We're done. We are done. That about wraps it up for today. Remember to... It's been such a long recording. That about wraps up for today. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Bye!